The Doomsday Clock is a fictional timepiece that started after World War II. Every year it updates its forecast of how much time scientists believe humanity has left on the planet. Using midnight as the defining hour. In 1946 it was 15 minutes to midnight. In 2023 it is now 90 seconds before midnight. I have complete confidence that there won't be a human being on the planet in 2030. Informed people have known about this for a long time. Since the recent historic earthquakes in Turkey and Syria, the doomsday clock has reached just 10 seconds to midnight. An alternative source of information gives a different scenario to such a depressing conclusion. This source claims, that unless there is an intervention from beyond the Earth, no one will survive. This intervention must happen, in order to save a remnant of humanity from total destruction. But is the intervention of the Creator to save his planet from the evil ones who intend to destroy it? This intervention is known as the Rapture, and anyone today can choose to be part of it. For the sake of those who make the right choice, the days will be shortened. Rather than be left behind and face what's coming. Is it possible to calculate how near we are to the return of Jesus and the timing of the rapture? One day with the Lord is a thousand years, and a thousand years is one day. The Lord is not slow to fulfill his promise as some count slowness, but is patient toward you, not wishing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. You may be surprised to learn, that every prophecy concerning the last days, is centered around Israel and the Middle East. The Jewish nation do not believe that Jesus Christ is their Messiah, but one day they will. After two days, he will revive us. On the third day he will restore us, that we may live in his presence. The countdown had already begun almost 3,000 years ago. The first 1,000 years was from AD 33 to AD 1033 which then entered the second day or second 1,000 years. The third 1,000 years, or third day will be completed in AD 2033. This is when the one day for a thousand years would link in with the doomsday clock. Has science finally caught up with scripture? Therefore the 3000 years time frame is very compelling. He will take his followers off the earth seven years before destruction. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. The great tribulation begins immediately after the rapture. This final seven years is commonly known as the Days of the Apocalypse, often depicted in movies, but the Bible calls it, the Great Tribulation. That ends at Armageddon when Jesus comes back with his raptured saints. If seven years is subtracted from 2023, it would bring the rapture to 2026. But keep in mind, the days will be shortened, and we don't yet know how that may happen. Electromagnetic Pulse EMP or nuclear. Laboratory pandemics or rogue artificial intelligence. Once humans develop artificial intelligence, it will take off on its own. A US Air Force general was asked, could we be dealing with extraterrestrials? His answer was, I am ruling nothing out. I covered this last subject in a previous video. See link below. Every one of these scenarios is possible right now. A major prophetic sign happened in 1948. With the fig tree being a national symbol of Israel. Now learn a parable of the fig tree. When his branch is yet tender and puts forth leaves, you know that summer is near. So when you see all these things happening, you know the time has come.
We will not know the exact day or hour of his return, but he expects us to know the signs and possibly even the season. King Solomon centuries before, wrote about the redeeming shepherd coming for his bride. The figs are beginning to ripen. The air is fragrant with blossoming vines. Come then, my love, my darling, come with me. This is telling us poetically about the rapture of the church and is called the fig tree generation. We are the only generation in history to see everything Jesus described unfolding before our eyes. But a generation is between 70 to 80 years. When did the fig tree generation begin? Israel became a nation in 1948. It will be 80 years old in 2028. When that happens time will be almost up. Should the doomsday clock be taken seriously? Should the Bible be taken seriously? And what can anyone do? Whether mankind believes it or not, there is only one choice to make. The one who created everything, took on the form of a human, to warn us and save us from what is to come. Here is where you can decide to change the direction of your life. There's a war going on in this universe control every human on this planet, a war between light and darkness. Your real enemy is not from this earth. The truth may only be depicted as fiction in movies. But the Bible is perfectly clear that it is true, and not fiction. We're not fighting with people made of flesh and blood, but unseen powers ruling the universe, controlling this world. As science has now caught up with scripture, it cannot be denied anymore, that something huge is looming on the horizon, anyone would be foolish to think it will all work itself out given time. Yet, for a believer in Jesus, it is our greatest hope that we have a wonderful future ahead of us. I hope the three-day and three-thousand-year prophecy is something you would like to share. The time is closer than you think, and you need to be prepared. Thanks very much for watching. There are many more questions answered in the book, The God Ultimatum. The God Ultimatum answers the usual arguments against a supreme being, the accuracy of ancient written scrolls and human immortality. Motivational and challenging, this book will get you to a place where you've never been before, but soon or later, all of us must face, The God Ultimatum.